हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ केस वेर आई डिड एल आर आई विच इज लिम्बल रिलैक्सिंग इंसिजन टू टेक केयर ऑफ एस्टिकमेटिज्म एंड से है हार्ट कैट ट्रैक सो यू कैन सी आई ऑलरेडी मार्क्ड सो द टू मार्क्स है जीरो वन एटी डिग्री एंड वेन यू पुट अ मेंडेज रिंग ऑन द कॉर्निया यू कैन मार्क द आर्क विच आई वॉन्ट टू मेक द एल आर आई ऑन सो दिस इज अ फिफ्टी डिग्री आर्क फ्रॉम वन थर्टी टू वन एटी डिग्री विच आई हैव चोजन नाउ दिस इज चोजन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस नोमोग्राम कॉल्ड एज नापा नोमोग्राम वी कैन यूज अ सिक्स हंड्रेड माइक्रॉन फिक्सड डेप्थ ब्लेड और वी कैन यूज अ गार्डेड ब्लेड विच वेयर वी कैन चेंज द डेप्थ नाउ द डेप्थ शुड बी नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द थिकनेस ऑफ द कॉर्निया एट द प्लेस वेयर आई वॉन्ट टू डू द एल आर आई एंड बट हियर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द सिक्स हंड्रेड माइक्रॉन फिक्स डेफ्थ गार्डेड ब्लेड विच इज अ डायमंड ब्लेड एंड वंस वी सी दिस नोमोग्राम इट हैज गिवन अकॉर्डिंग टू विद द रूल और अगेंस्ट द रूल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू एज एज वेल एज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द सिलेंडर टू बी taken care of so here you can see uh, if you check according to age whether it is against the rule or with the rule and the uh, uh, astigmatism present it will give you the paired lri incision arc which is in degrees and then i have marked 50 degrees from 130 to 180 it's a paired incision so this is a 600 micron guided diamond blade and uh, it has to be exactly perpendicular to the cornea where i am going to make the limbal relaxing incision so try to make it as uniform as possible to have the best effect few surgeons also prefer to do it more clear corneal than limbal to have better effect any incisions taken further i try to avoid the uh, area where i have done lri there is uh, also option of going from the lri making the incision but i find it little unstable so i always try to avoid the area of lri while making the incision so this is a case of mature cataract as you can see and there is some amount of subcapsular fibrosis so there is a area of calcification luckily uh, it didn't cause any radial extension here and i could do the ccc perfectly now my experience with lri has been uh, that uh, it has a tendency of regression over a period of time so i generally do not prefer to do lri for more than 1.25 to 1.5 diopter and uh, nowadays the toricals uh, the cost of the toricals have reduced significantly and uh, so my preferred choice will be torical rather than correcting the astigmatism using the lri but in case uh, there is issue of cost and for very small cylinders say up to one diopter i can think of uh, doing limbal relaxing incision so deep groove is made initially and this is a hard cataract but as you can see it's a brittle cataract not the leathery one so i can crack the nucleus into two half quite easily and uh, i am using combination of ozil and longitudinal pulses so i get a good grip to crack the nucleus into smaller pieces i will try to make at least 3 to 4 pieces of each hemi nucleus more the pieces better it will reduce the amount of echo energy used make sure that uh, the endothelium is well protected using a dispersive ovd my choice is hyaluronate which is combination of chondroitin and uh, hyaluronate so you can see the chopping there using 1 mm sinski to chop till the posterior plate and once the pieces are made now 7 to 8 pieces are made here i have shifted to quadrant removal we will go sideways so that i can remove these pieces quickly here ozil with ip which is intelligent feco is uh, put on so whenever there is occlusion there are few pulses of longitudinal feco that uh, avoids any blockage of the tip in between i just replenish the 
dispersive OVD and followed by methyl cellulose in the bag. This will prevent any chances of endothelial damage and will keep the cornea crystal clear immediate post-operatively as well. So this is a hard cataract but brittle one. It cracked very easily and nicely and could be emulsified quite successfully. So LRI generally makes uh, the eyeball little bit more elastic. Uh, during LRI the complication noted one of the major complications might be a perforation so if there is a corneal thinning at the site of LRI you have to be very very cautious and avoid LRI in those cases and if there is a perforation make sure you take multiple sutures because it's a perpendicular incision so whenever it perforates uh, there is a no sealing effect of the incision so you have to take multiple sutures at every half to one millimeter otherwise it will keep on leaking at the end of the surgery make sure that incisions are watertight uh, there is no need to hydrate the LRIs if you have made incision through the LRI then you have to be more meticulous in hydration and closure of the incision so for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and also visit our website fakotraining.org.in thank you so much